You mentioned that you're nearing the end of your pregnancy, so congratulations on that. Um, but you have von Willebrand's disease and you're wondering what implications that might have on pregnancy and you're doing well to think ahead about it and your doctor should too. So be sure to talk with them at your next prenatal appointment about what their plans are. Generally speaking, treatment during pregnancy is not needed. However, special monitoring during um, labor and also after delivery will be necessary to make sure that you don't bleed too much. Um, people who have von Willebrand disease are at greater risk for bleeding. Studies have actually shown that about 20% of women who have von Willebrand disease end up having a postpartum hemorrhage. And this doesn't always just happen immediately after delivery. The risk actually exists for one to three weeks after. So when you come to the hospital, your doctor will probably want to draw your blood and they're going to look at certain tests to find out where you're at as far as your blood clotting ability. And um, if, you, if your body is at a good place, then you will be able to receive like an, an epidural if that's your plan. But um, if your levels aren't high enough, then sometimes that's not an option. So again, this is another thing to consider and to look into. And it's always a good idea to have the anesthesiologist and the OB talk with you at the hospital um, and they can develop a plan of care. You mentioned that they want to induce you at 39 weeks and this is probably so everything can be done under a nice controlled environment and we're not dealing with you coming in in spontaneous labor and having a lot of pain while trying to figure out all of these other issues. So um, generally speaking, if you go to a hospital where they're capable of doing all of these tests on site and there are a lot of resources available, the outcome should be just fine. Your nurses and doctors will watch you very closely for signs of bleeding afterwards and have products available if necessary to give them to you to make sure that your blood's able to clot and that your bleeding is well controlled. Another thing to think about is the fact that it's a genetic disease and this can be passed on to your baby. So all elective procedures should be delayed until it's determined if your baby has von Willebrand disease. Like if you're having a little boy, you should avoid circumcision until you find this out. Good luck with everything. And if I don't have a chance to chat with you before delivery, congratulations ahead of time. And if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.